Welcome to Bridging the Gap, formal verification for custom digital design. This is the overview. I'm your host, Rick Eversole. Today we'll get started on an overview of the challenge in functional verification for custom digital design. Today we'll talk about the gap in verification of full custom design such as memories. We'll finish with a brief overview of a formal tool called ESP from Synopsys which can verify custom digital designs. While custom design can have RF and analog components, the solution we'll be discussing will focus on full custom logic design. A typical full custom design flow looks similar to this diagram. A full custom design often starts with the specification, requirement spec, functional spec, or even the last generation of the design with a simple make it work at the next node. Custom designs are just one portion of a system chip. The designer takes the specification, creates a design, memory compiler, or generator. SPICE tools are used to verify the circuit functionality, timing, and power requirements. Many days can be spent in this verification, but for most designs, SPICE level verification is just not possible as the overall design is too complex. Higher level fast SPICE tools can be used to allow even more vectors to be explored, but even then, verification of the function is known not to be complete. While the designer works on this detailed design and verification, a separate person or team develops a Verilog model with its own set of test vectors and runs many simulations to ensure the design is functionally correct. The system level verification team uses these models and assumes or hopes that they are correct. How can you be sure that your design is correct? For the simplest memories, maybe you can convince yourself that the design is correct. But who builds simple memories these days? There are test modes, redundancy, and special power down modes. Do they actually work correctly? Was your simulation exhaustive? If your Verilog model is not RTL, then traditional formal tools such as model checkers and property proofers cannot be used. Even if your Verilog model is functionally correct, does it match your circuit design? Can you even run enough vectors in a FastSpice tool to be sure? How can you even compare the output of your FastSpice simulation to the Verilog simulation? This is where the ESP tool from Synopsys fills the verification gap. Give it a Verilog model that simulates, a circuit design in SPICE format, and it can help prove that both representations have the same functional behavior. The Verilog can even be a behavioral model that other formal and synthesis tools will reject. ESP uses formal techniques to prove that the outputs of the Verilog model and the SPICE model are functionally the same. ESP uses a technique called symbolic simulation. This technique uses a test bench like traditional Verilog simulation, except that instead of ones and zeros, a unique symbol is applied to the inputs. ESP then compares the resulting output equations. ESP can verify the functionality of a Verilog model in SPICE design. ESP can verify the functional equivalence of two Verilog models. ESP can even verify that two SPICE designs are functionally the same. Typic applications include compiled memories, full custom memories like SRAM, cache, and ROMs, data path blocks, FPGA programmable fabrics, and standard cells including logic and some I.O. cells. ESP uses symbolic simulation to deliver efficient functional coverage. Symbolic simulation works the same as a traditional logic simulator, except that it can use symbols instead of just ones and zeros. A symbol is both a one and a zero at the same time. A two input AND gate needs four binary vectors to verify. ESP needs only one symbolic vector. More information on symbolic simulation is available in the video, Bridging the Gap Symbolic Simulation. ESP uses a simple model of a transistor. This model is a switch with a capacitor for the gate and a resistor for the drain source channel. This model works well for digital designs. More information on the ESP device model is available in the video, Bridging the Gap, the ESP transistor model. ESP supports a wide range of design styles, including asynchronous logic, self-timed logic, pre-charged logic, and even latch-based designs. 
Debugging ESP is similar to debugging verifications using other Verilog simulators. You use a waveform viewer. For the SPICE side of the design, ESP offers its interactive signal tracing capability and additionally can generate test benches for verification using your SPICE simulator. ESP also offers additional capabilities for power integrity verification and special redundancy verification flow. The redundancy verification flow can prove that your redundancy scheme actually works. All of these features are discussed in future videos of the Bridging the Gap series. I'd like to finish with a recap of some of the unique advantages of ESP for custom design verification. ESP supports non-synthesizable Verilog. Your Verilog models can be at a higher level of abstraction that simulate faster in your system level simulations. ESP uses the actual circuit behavior and does not use a transistor level abstraction. ESP can simulate an embedded delays that are critical to design functionality. Abstraction techniques can miss these critical timing circuits and may not even be able to extract a gate level equivalent. Symbolic simulation allows ESP to cover two to the n discrete events with a single simulation vector of n variables. ESP does not require state point matching, making verification of retiming redundancy in different pipeline depths easier and quicker to verify. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to catch future episodes of Bridging the Gap.